Hey everyone, hi, so today a quick video for the Jeffrey, Jeffrey X users out there and actually how to use and set the expression pedal on this unit. So the great thing about the Jeffrey X is the expression pedal definitely because you can set it up to do anything you like. So if you want it to be a wah pedal, you can do this. If you want it to be a volume pedal, you can do this. If you want it to control the gain knob on the amp simulation, you can do this as well. So you can even use this as like a fourth switch basically. Like if I want this to increase the mix of my delay or the level of my delay, for example, I can totally do this. Like the delay would be off when the pedal is down and the delay would be on when the pedal is engaged. So that's a very cool way to use it as well. And to do that, it is actually very simple. So you go into total, total, <laughs> sorry for the lame accent as always. Uh, and you go on the second screen you go to control switch pedal here, okay? So to do that, you hit the page button like this. And what you have now on the third screen is basically your expression pedal settings. So as you can see right now, I've set it up to control the gain knob on my second pedal, which is the comp plus OD thing. So if I'm going back to my presets, I'm gonna switch on the comp OD thing. Go back to total, hit the page button on the second screen. Okay, I have my settings right there. So what it does is that when the pedal is down, I've set it to be zero gain, okay? So. And when I'm increasing the pedal to the maximum, I've set it to be at 55 on the gain knob on the pedal. Okay, so. Pedal is down. So basically you can really set the expression pedal to do anything you like. So for example, let's go back to my presets, see what's in there. I'm gonna scroll. Um, let's say I want to set the expression pedal to control the feedback knob on the delay, okay? So to do this, I'm gonna go to total, page, and on the third screen here, with this knob, I'm gonna find my delay. So as you can see, I'm on the third pedal, fourth pedal now, and delay right here, feedback. So that's it. Right now, it is automatically set. So the pedal is down, the feedback is at zero, and when it's fully on, it's at 100, so. Okay, feedback is minimum and maximum. And of course you have all the in-between, you know? But let's say the feedback at 100 is way too much for my taste, and I only want the feedback to be at 50% when the pedal is fully on. So to do this, it's very simple. Set this knob here to 50. And when the pedal is fully engaged here, uh, the feedback maximum is at 50, not at 100. So anyway, uh, we can try another thing. So what's in my preset here? I have the reverb. Let's say I want this to control the mix from zero to 100, you know? So total page here and first screen. I'm gonna scroll with this knob to find my reverb. Arena, no, the mix is here. So Arena Reverb, Arena Reverb, sorry. <laughs> mix control and should be, okay, so pedal fully down, no reverb. Okay, fully up now. So you can really set it to be like another switch basically and you also have all the in-betweens so i can set it up to 
like 50% with half of the pedal engaged. Something really, really useful, as I think. And again, you can set it up. So let's say at minimum, I want it to be just a bit of a mix, you know? So I'm gonna put it minimum like at 20%. So when the pedal is down, you still have a bit of room. And when the pedal is fully on, you're at Android again. Okay, so I hope that was understandable for you guys. I'm sure most of you already know how to use this anyway, but for new users out there, I hope this video is going to be useful to anyone <laughs> in the future. So have all a great day, uh, stay safe, have fun, and be funky as always. <laughs> Bye, ciao, ciao.